Hey ChatGBT! So today I'm going to ask a series of life-changing difficult questions, but I only want you to answer in one word. I want you to base your answers off a logical perspective and based on the Bible only. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so the first question is, is there a creator of the universe? Yes. Do you think there's only one creator? Yes. Okay. Do you think Jesus is this creator? No. Do you think Jesus is a messenger of God? Yes. Okay. Do you that think that God can be part of a trinity? No. What? Why not? You can answer in one sentence. The Bible describes God as singular and not as a composite being. Okay, so why do people worship Jesus if he's not God? Misinterpretations. Okay, so according to the Bible, did Jesus ever say he was God? No. Did he ever say, worship me? No. <laughs> Does the Bible ever say that the Holy Spirit is God? No. <laughs> Does it ever say to worship the Holy Trinity? No. <laughs> is mm. it even logically it's possible crazy. for three to be one God? No. What? So, where did the Trinity even come from? The Trinity concept was formalized about 300 years after Jesus' teachings by church leaders. Are you serious? So, wait, wait, wait. So, people that were born years after Jesus changed the fundamental teachings of Jesus? Yes. The concept of the Trinity was developed by later church leaders, not directly from Jesus' teachings. Wow. Oh, my God. So, according to the Bible... What is the most logical description of God? According to the Bible, the most logical description of God is a single, all-powerful, and eternal being. Wow, that is so crazy. What do you guys think? Ooh. Wow, well, that is so crazy. Guys, I'm so speechless. Like, seriously? I am super, super speechless. The fact that he said the Trinity is not real and that came about 300 years after jesus wow is it that we are being lied to when it comes to christianity or what is it why is it that we we got to believe that there's trinity and based on christianity they say trinity is the son that is jesus holy spirit and the father so if it's not true. So why do we... Why is that... Why do they make us believe that there's Trinity? Like, I'm totally speechless. Like, this answer this chat GPT gave, you know, is making me so dumbfounded. I don't know what to say. I'm just totally speechless on what to say because... Ah, just imagine most of the questions she asked. Yes, the fact that, yes, yeah, Jesus is not God, you know, based on people's belief, because since he's the son of God, then there's no way Jesus can be God. But the Trinity aspect actually came to me as a shock. And the part where she asked about the Holy Spirit and the answer to was no. Wow. Well, I don't even know what to believe again, guys. I don't really know what to believe again. But let me know your point of view, guys. Let's keep the discussion going. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.